this video is gonna try and uh, address when your rear wiper breaks. So I want to take this off to change the um, wiper blade. When I took this part off, this whole thing right here just busted right off. So th this piece is actually supposed to be attached to this. It's um, pressed in and um, so I'm gonna take this screw out. This is a 10 millimeter uh, nut. Take that out and um, I'm gonna try and heat this up because I love torches. And I'm gonna try and heat this up and not melt this rubber right here. So what I'll probably have to do is push it away and put a little needle nose clamp on there. So I'm gonna try that. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these are like, um, build um, vice grips. I'm going to push back this rubber. Kind of push it back as much as I can and then tighten them. As long as I'm off this collar. And I just have a, a damp rag. Kind of put it out here. And what I'm going to try and do is put the heat away from it. Let me take this 10 millimeter off. And don't need to come off fine. And uh, let me see if I got another vice grip to pull that off. See if it comes off. No, it's on there pretty good. So let me heat this up and I'm hoping it expands a little bit and I can slide it off. Let me see if that's enough. I'm gonna actually grab it with these channel locks. Doesn't want to come off there. I don't want to heat it up too much. These are uh, dissimilar metals. It's rocking that's good and it's actually rocking huh maybe it's rocking the whole thing I thought it's rocking separately all right let me try heating it up a little more There we go. All right, so it's off. 
So that's it. Got that thing off. And we do not want to melt that plastic. So you want to cool this off real quick with the rag after you get it off because that rubber will start melting onto the shaft. And uh, that thing was on there pretty good. But uh, just use a little um, turbo torch, they're called. It's just um, a little turbo torch and I have it on a really low setting. You can't see the flame right now because it's so sunny out. But uh, that works pretty good. And it's not even hot anymore. So let me see if uh, I can get you zoomed in here. Get a better look at. Let's see. I'm not sure if you can see that. See the splines on that or not. There they are. Yeah, you can see these splines right here. So this piece, like I said, is is just spo supposed to be part of the actual wiper. They would um, they would press them into here. So it just broke off. So I ordered another wiper and let me go grab that and put that on. The uh, new part arrived. I just ordered it on Amazon. It is um, this Forerunner. I don't know. It's there's the part number from Amazon. I'll leave a link below. It's uh, some manufacturer I never heard of, but it's the rear wiper, and it comes with the wiper arm and uh, the little cover the brass with the, um, hopefully it has some grooves in it. Doesn't look like it, so I'm a little concerned about that. There's no grooves in there. And then uh, the wiper itself. So this will hopefully go right here and this will work on here. Let me get a 10 millimeter, get this off. My only concern is that has grooves, and I don't see any grooves in this. Oh, I can see them. They're really hard to see. There's some splines in there. Really hard to see. not feel like there's a spline in there. If there is, then it's terrible. I'm gonna grab a uh, magnifying glass and see if there's a spline in there. Okay, I do not see a spline in here, so maybe when you press it, it just, um, grabs it so what I'm going to do is attach this um, wiper you just kind of push them together so that's in and then uh, I'm going to open the spring like that actually I'm going to keep it closed and I'm just going to set this in the notch here and uh, push that in Tighten the uh, 10 millimeter screw down and I'm hoping that this just presses in and it's soft, that it um, bites in to the grooves that are there. Feels like it's holding. Let me put the cover on. The cover just comes in this plastic. Looks pretty good. Plastic's really cheap and loose. Let's see if I can get it to tighten a little better. That's a little better. I don't know. This thing's really cheesy.
All right, let me test it out. Let's turn on the truck here. Okay, so the wiper's working. It is not even touching at bottom. So let me see if I turn it off and settle it back down. All right, it looks like it settled down. There are some videos on how to make the spring tension a little tighter, but uh, I don't know, it seems like it works okay. So we'll try it out and see how it works. Okay, as you can see, I removed this again because I was a little disappointed that it was only wiping here. It didn't even touch this side. So if I can get this spring this spring is super tight. I can't get it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my multi-tool and I'm going to just take off about a, maybe a eighth of an inch off of here and then do the other side. Um, I'll try that out and see if that works. See if it'll put more tension on that. Okay, I cut off about an, maybe an eighth of an inch. And now you can see how much flex it has, way more flex. I'm gonna see if that um, helps put more pressure on this. Let me put this back together. Let's see here. Screw it in. You can see there's a lot more of an angle, but see if it works properly. Oh yeah, now it's touching the whole window. Let me see if it goes all the way back. It doesn't quite go all the way down. It feels like it has a little bit of play right here. So I may have to adjust this a little bit. All right, I made a slight adjustment to it. Let me try it. Let me try this. See if that does anything. It looks like it's just missing the bottom, but let me see if it turns off okay. It looks like it's retracting back pretty good. So that helped just cutting that little piece off. Works much better. So I hope this helps someone else. Um, these were really inexpensive on Amazon, um, but I'll leave a link below.